how fast you can get yourself out of it. That's what we wanna focus on. So do not judge yourself if you've been in a rut before or if you've had a couple of times over this 2020, it's normal. Welcome back to this week's episode of It Takes Grit with me, Rebecca Louise, your host for today. And I've got my sidekick, Penny, with me as well. And we are talking about how to get out of a rut, what it feels like to be in a funk and how to kind of push through it. So I'm gonna give you my method that I use that really helps me step out of that area of uncertainty, feeling like I'm a little bit of in a funk and move forward. But first of all, let's just recap on what is going on right now. If you are watching on YouTube, then you know that you can see a little chip part of my tooth, yes. I chipped my tooth, so let's just get that out of the way. I was like, you know what? It is only a chipped tooth. It's getting fixed on Monday, so obviously I can't wait for it to be fixed, but in the meantime, I'm just digging, digging this new look. It's okay, it's no problem. And first of all, it got me a little frustrated. I was like, now I've got to do this, I've got to go to the dentist. I was like, really? It could be a whole lot worse. So I literally brought a champagne glass too quickly to my face. Um, and it chipped the top part of my tooth off, just that, like the little part, um, okay, Penny's gonna get down. And I just chipped off that part. It could be worse, right? I could have chipped more of the tooth, I could have chipped two tooth, I could have chipped like all of my teeth, but it's okay and it doesn't hurt. That's the most important thing. So I'm just gonna dig this look for a week or so. It's no problem. And I wanted to talk about it as well because when I went into the dentist, I, it was actually quite overwhelming experience because they were trying to sell me literally to get six new teeth done. They were like, well, this one's kind of bolding out anyway. You know, if you really want it to match, you need to get all six done. And it was going to cost me like a, a really, really large amount of money. And I felt very pressured actually by the woman. She was bringing over these forms. Well, if you just sign here, we can get you started. And I was like, um, I was kind of thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I don't want to just come in and have all six teeth done. And actually she brought in somebody else who'd had their teeth done. And I was like, well, it's not even that great. So I want to talk to you a little bit about feeling pressured in certain situations, how to act with it in another episode, because I really feel like it's something that is important to know how to stand your own ground and to stand up for like what you want. And in the moment where you feel like pressured into doing something else, like you have full control. So watch out, I'm gonna release an episode all about it because I was literally almost in tears. In fact, I could feel tears coming through my eyes as I'm in the dentist. I'm like, this really isn't something that I should be crying about, but it's okay. You know, you can cry about whatever it is that you want to cry about. No one can tell you that you're wrong or right for crying about something. So I am gonna do a longer, more deep, in-depth episode about feeling pressured in certain situations because I felt pressured and I'm a pretty strong person. So I really want to be able to give you guys the tools that I used uh, to help you. But today we are going to talk about how to get out of a rut, right? If you're in a funk, something's going on and you're just like, I just want to break free from it. Now, whether you have been in a rut for a year, a month, a week or a day, this method is going to work as long as you do not judge yourself for how long you've been in a rut for and you are ready to make a change. Before we dive deep into this, because this is a, a deep dive topic that we're going to be talking about for, you know, a, a good couple of minutes, I want to just to recap on where we're at right now. We are currently in the middle of our 31 day holiday challenge. Oh yes, and we are just about to start the 12 days lives and giveaways, which means that I'm going live every single day with a different workout, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the 13th of December, all the way through to the 24th of December, 7 a.m. on my YouTube channel. We're gonna do a fun live workout. I've got a great schedule of workouts that we're gonna do, your guys' favorites. And then we're also gonna do a giveaway each day on Instagram as well. So make sure that you're following Instagram, Rebecca Louise Fitness, and that you're also subscribed to the YouTube channel and you've got it in your diary. This is the time we have so much fun stuff coming up. We have so many things that you can get involved in. That if you feel like you're in a rut, I'm providing something that's gonna help you get out of it. 
I can provide it, but I can't make you actually do it. It's like you can lead a horse to water, right? But you can't make the horse drink the water. And that's what this is about, is I am bringing you guys stuff. And if you want it, it's right there. And if you don't, well, then you're gonna stay in the same position. So show up, it's gonna be so much fun. 12 days, 12 days of giveaways, getting into the holiday spirit. We're gonna make it all fun, Christmassy, all of the things. And what do we have coming up in January? Now, those of you who did the four week I've Got Grit Inner Transformation program with me in October, know the type of things that's gonna happen from applying yourself to doing that course. It was amazing, the amount of breakthroughs, the amount of transformation, the amount of light bulb moments that we had in just that four weeks was amazing. And I think it was like a third of you actually signed up again to do it in January, which is amazing. And it's so important to do that because this isn't just something that you do a one-off. This is something that you wanna do two, three times a year to keep on resetting your goals. So if you haven't already signed up for the four week I've Got Grit in a Transformation program, all the details are below. There is 80% off right now. It is crazy. The value that you get for this program and the difference that you're gonna feel afterwards is gonna be amazing. So if you are struggling right now to know what your goals are for 2021, you're like, hey, I don't know where I wanna be, I don't know what I wanna do, this is gonna help define them. And if you're like, yes, I've got some goals, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna get there, this program is gonna lead you and guide you every step of the way to helping you get those goals that you want. So bridging that gap, remember from where you're at, from where you wanna go. So get registered for that, commit, say, hey, I wanna change my life. I've spent over $100,000 on personal development on helping myself grow to become the best version of myself. And oh my goodness, just in the last four years, I have grown so much, let alone the last seven years, right? Even just the last year of applying myself to doing personal development. And this is something that I wanna teach you guys so that you can have the life that you want as well. So get registered for that. It's gonna be absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it's just transformative. It's so transformative and I've made it affordable uh, for everybody, okay? So get yourself in the program. It's gonna be super fun and it's gonna help you get to where you wanna be in 2021. All right, they're the little housekeeper things. So join us for our inner, inner transformation program. Join us for the lives. We're gonna have so much fun getting into the holiday spirit. So, okay, let's take a deep breath in together. Inhale through your nose, hold over the top, closing your eyes and ha, ah, exhale everything out. Let's talk about the rut, all right? Everybody gets into a rut at some point time or other. It just depends how fast you can get yourself out of it. That's what we want to focus on. So do not judge yourself if you've been in a rut before or if you've had a couple of times over this 2020, it's normal. We're in a crazy pandemic. We've never experienced anything like this before. It's new, it's uncertain. I've definitely been in a rut for a couple of days numerous times over this past year. So first of all, do not judge yourself. Do not get mad at yourself because you've been in it for a week, in it for a month, or in it for a year. Just know that today can be that day that changes things for you as long as you want to. As long as you want to get out of that. If you wanna get out of the rut, if you wanna get out of your funk. Now, a lot of people like living there. They like living in the funk, they like living in the rut because it gives them significance, it makes them feel important, it makes them feel that they've got something going on, and it also gives them excuses as why they're not doing other things. So first of all, we have to decide today that you really do not wanna feel like this anymore. You wanna change. And knowing that maybe if you're not in a rut right now, that it could happen in the near future or in the long future, and how do you have the tools to be able to break yourself out of it in a in an instance, but I'm gonna give you the two day rule. And this is exactly what I do. So first of all, we have to decide that we don't wanna live like this anymore. We don't wanna be in a rut. We don't wanna have you know, the influences of other people taking us down. We don't wanna have our own internal voice in our head telling us that we should stay in this position. Because remember, if nothing changes, nothing changes. And we have to break that pattern. So I'm gonna give you my two day kind of getting out of your rut strategy. Now you might think, oh my goodness, there's all these different things and it's gonna be crazy and there's all this different structure. It's actually not, it's actually very, very simple, but you have to show up for it and you have to keep on going. So let's talk about that two day method. So say it's a Sunday and you're in a rut, okay? You're in the rut, it's the last day of that rut. The next day, so for you, if you're in a rut right now, tomorrow, 
is going to be the first day of your two day program to get yourself out of the rut. Now, when you're in these ruts and you want to do that two day program, one of the most important things is, is that you can continue to keep on showing up. So if you have something scheduled, if you have something booked, if you have a dinner, if you have anything, a team call, a team event, a work thing, whatever it is, you must stay showing up. You must stay consistent. Even though we're doing this two-day program, it's something on top. That is one of the most important things of getting yourself out of a rut is showing up. I talk about this a lot, showing up even when you don't feel like it. In fact, that's even more important to show up because that's gonna help you get out of that downward spiral. It's actually gonna bring you up into a positive spiral. So that's really important that if you are skipping things or you're missing things right now, you're actually putting yourself into more of a depression, more anxiety, more stress, right? Because when you are around things and you're showing up for things, right? It makes you feel good because you're not just kind of shoulders down in the dumps. So if you're in a rut right now, tomorrow, when you wake up, you've got to move your body. Going for a brisk walk, right? Whether it's around your garden, whether it's around your neighborhood, whether it's up and down your stairs, we have to get some movement in. Now, I'm not asking you to do a crazy big workout. This is actually comes on day two, right? But right now, we're going to do brisk walking. We're going to move our bodies, just changing our physiological state, just getting some energy into our body and moving because we know how to change our physiological state, right? We know it's done by changing and moving our body, moving our arms and legs up and down, right? It's gonna change, literally change our physiological state. So really important to do that. Now, during that day, I'm gonna let you have a 20 to 45 minute nap, all right? Because sleep is actually super important to help you recover. And when you're feeling in a rut, it could be that you're feeling exhausted. So we've got to make sure that we get that out first. So this is just what I do, remember. Look, everybody's going to have their own methods, but try this, see what happens, and see how you feel. So having an afternoon nap. Remember, you're not having a nap when you're supposed to show up for other things. you still got to show up for everything. But have that afternoon nap, okay? 20 minutes, 45 minutes, just let your body recover. Now, in the evening, so important. You're gonna to get to bed super early. Yes, we're gonna get you to bed early, having some relaxed tea, having a nice warm shower, maybe reading some part of a book, but you're turning off your electronics. You're getting all of that monkey business out of your brain. In fact, we're hardly using our phone over these two days. We're getting reconnected and building that strength back in. So evening routine, super important. Then you're gonna to go to bed and you're gonna really sleep. Sometimes we just need to sleep it off. I don't know if you've ever heard that before, but sometimes I just need to like sleep it out. But it's really important that we don't keep that going. There's one day that you're allowed to sleep it out, right? Sleep it out so that you really bring all the energy back. You catch up on sleep. You catch up on anything that, you know, maybe there's been a couple of nights where you've woken up. This is your night to sleep. So go to, go to bed right? Set your alarm for the normal time that you wake up. We've got to try and keep our body in a rhythm, right? We want to still keep our body in a rhythm. And when you wake up the next morning, that's when you're going to jump in the shower and you're going to have your cold shower. Oh yes, your cold shower. And this is where we start our affirmation. So you can see that day one of, you know, getting through our two day program of in a rut, we are giving ourselves a little bit more love and we're just taking it nice and slowly. And we're preparing, what we're doing is we're preparing for day two where we shine, where we let our whole selves shine and we create that strength because we've rested the day before. So we're gonna wake up and we're gonna have a cold shower. It's gonna send some signals through your body to wake up and feel energized, right? Even sometimes when I'm in the shower, I'm like, today I really don't feel like having a cold shower. I really don't feel like turning the knob and being like, okay, we're just gonna put a cold shower on. But you know what? I just do it. I put my, reach my hand out and I turn it and I'm like, right, I'm just gonna stand here. No problem, then I'll start breathing. Inhale through my nose. <sighs> Exhale everything out, do seven breaths, no problem, okay? So we have to just make that decision because this is what's gonna help you break out of your rut. If you're like, hey, I don't wanna do the cold shower, I don't wanna do this part, right? Then you're already setting yourself up for some failure. Let's actually set ourselves up for some success because we wanna crush it. Next part is you wanna say 
powerful words to yourself. And I know I've said this again, but I say this, you're gonna be okay. You're okay. And I say it like, I say it like I mean it. I'm like, you're okay. Rebecca, you are, you're okay. You've got this. You're strong. You are okay. And I think that word, like you're, you're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You're okay. All those different ways of saying you're okay actually makes me start to smile. And I'm like, yes, I am. I am going to be okay. I am okay. And I start to look at all of the amazing things that are in my life. So you want to have that inside chat with yourself that's telling yourself, yes, like I am okay. I've got this. You're okay. I can do this. You've got it. No problem. You're strong. And so you can either do that when you're in the shower, you can do it when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Like I sometimes feel like in the shower is like, you know, that's my time where I'm saying my affirmations to myself. Even maybe when I've got the cold shower going, I'm like, I've got this, it's okay, I can, you're, you're gonna be okay. I keep saying that to myself. Like when things are struggling or they're tense or I'm unsure about something, I am saying you are going to be okay. You're gonna be okay, and I'm telling you that too for you. You're gonna be okay, right? You're gonna be okay. You don't have to live like this anymore. We can break free and get out of this rut. So you're gonna be okay. So I have those conversations with myself. And remember, I'm still showing up for everything. There's times where I have not felt my peak state and I've got up on a call. And then afterwards, I've actually got into my peak state because it's actually created that energy for me to get there. So you will never get into a peak state if you, one, don't change your state to get in a peak state, right? If you're like, no, nope, it's just not happening today. But if you actually had to show up for something where someone else relied on you or someone else needed you, it could actually help you change your state. I know that lots of times where I'm like, okay, I just got to get ready for this. I just got to get ready. I'm going to do the best I can. I do a presentation. I do a call. I do a podcast. I do a live workout. And afterwards, I feel better because during it, I've changed my peak state because I've had to. I've created that, you know, like other people are watching, other people are listening. Like I am creating that change, that peak state. So that's something that is really important when you are talking to yourself and when you want to show up for the next thing. It's like we got to create that peak state. Now, the final part of this day, and it doesn't, I know, it's not even much. I'm not even asking you to do that much. But if you just apply it and you stop the words coming into your head where, well, this is too hard. I just want to go back. I want to go back to where it's comfortable. A lot of people like living in that negative space. They like living in anxiety, in depression and sadness because it's actually more comfortable because it's what they know. But it's not happy. Comfortable doesn't always mean happy. All right. Remember that comfortable doesn't always mean happy. And so if you're comfortable somewhere, doesn't necessarily mean to say that you are shining bright, that you're radiant, that you've got, you know, the whole life is just in one zone ready to go. So let's do this. Let's keep on showing up. And when you show up, we're going to change that state. The last part, and of course, I'm going to add workout in here, is that absolutely crush a workout. I want you to go and, and do a workout and tell yourself at the beginning, I'm strong. Remember when I was talking about that momentum, how to create momentum when you start a workout. If you start it strong, if you start it like I'm going to own this workout, I'm going to crush it, within about five to seven minutes, you are going to crush it and you're going to be into it. But if you're showing up like half-hearted, half-assed, by the way, halfway through, you're still in that position and then you've completely lost your motivation. You've completely lost that momentum to really go for it. So do a workout and give it your absolute best. Even if it's super difficult, it's super challenging, it's gonna give your brain signals that you are strong physically, which is gonna help you mentally. That's what workout does. Like I love working out because it makes me feel strong physically, which then makes me mentally feel super strong as well. So do the workout and do it with full guts, and even if you're tired or you're like, I still feel like I'm in this rut, I want you to do it anyway. I want you to give it your absolute best because this is how we're going to break the pattern. This is how we're going to break through and help you guys get to the place of breaking through out of this rut. And when you come out of that workout, you've got to say to yourself, yes, you did it. You did it. 
And every single time those words start to come back into your brain about why you're not good enough or why you should stay in a rut, we have to discipline ourselves. We have to commit that we don't want to be in that place because look, life is amazing. Every day you get to wake up and create something new. And the last thing that you want to do on your deathbed is be like, oh, I wish I didn't worry so much. Like, I wish I didn't like, you know, waste these days just by feeling sorry for myself. It's enough. Enough is enough. Enough feeling sorry for ourselves. Enough feeling like we're not good enough. Enough feeling like we're in a rut. Enough feeling like we're in a funk. Let's break out of it. Break out of those things that are holding us back and know that we can have a beautiful, happy life, right? We can do, but it takes work, it takes discipline, it takes doing the things, it takes having the cold shower, it takes showing up for the workout, it takes doing a nighttime routine, it takes journaling, it takes work, right? It can take work to train your body to continually to change and show up in a positive state. It's just like anything. If you want a better relationship, you're gonna to have to train yourself that you have to say the right things that your partner needs or that your partner wants, right? But if you're not willing to do the work, you're not gonna get the results that you want. It's the same with everything. If you're not willing to do the work to be able to live out of a rut and to be happy and to live life to your full potential, right? You're not gonna have it. So don't be, you know, just thrown off by, well, it shouldn't be that difficult. It sh I shouldn't have to take work. Doesn't matter. Why is that a problem? It's not a problem, right? Marriages take work, friendships take work, everything takes work because why? It's called effort. If you don't put effort into something, right, which is work, that's why it's called work ethic, then you're not gonna get the results. If you wanted to work out, if you wanted to get a six pack, right, you have to put effort into getting that six pack by training every day and eating healthy, right? It's the same, it's work, it's effort. What is the type of effort that you are putting into you and your own personal growth? And that's something that only you can answer, right? If you are not feeling amazing right now and you're in a rut, it's because you're not doing enough work and you're not doing enough effort into making sure that you are filled up and that you are living to your full potential. So just remember that, it's okay. So remember how you wanna feel. Last of all, remember how it feels to be out of that funk, to be living in your true purpose, in your true alignment. Like, how does it feel? How does it feel to, you know, wake up every day and be happy and full of purpose? Like, you want that, right? You want to hold on to that and you want to keep remembering. And those days where you're like, oh, I just don't feel like showing up, like I'm struggling, it's difficult. Remember how great it's going to feel once you've got outside of that funk. And look, right now it is harder than ever to break through from a funk, from a rut, wherever you are at, I completely understand. But this is going to challenge and grow us so that when we get back to the real world or whatever that might look like, when we do get in a rut, we're gonna be able to bounce out of it like this. It's actually gonna be amazing because we have trained ourselves to be able to get out of a rut out of a funk in a time like this. So if you can do it in this period of time, you're gonna be able to do it in the future when everything is back to normal. So remember, it's just about effort. What is the effort that you are putting into your life right now? Where are you putting your effort? Where are you putting your energy? Where are you putting you know, the work? That's where you're gonna get the results back. So little bit of a recap from today. Don't let your past Funks or ruts let you take control of going and moving forward. Let go of that judgment. Let go of any of that judgment because it's not serving you. It's not helping you. It's not helping you get to where you want to be. So we got to, first of all, let that go. And then go through that two-day program. Wake up, get your body moving, have an afternoon nap, have a beautiful evening routine, get to bed early, wake up at the normal time, bounce in that shower, have a cold shower, go through your affirmations, tell yourself that you're okay, keep showing up for everything, and then absolutely crush a workout, all right? I know it seems something that's really simple, but this is legitly what I do. But I have to decide that I wanna get out of the rut first. Really, it's all a decision. It's all a choice. It's a choice to get out of the rut. It's taking 100% responsibility for that rut, and it's doing it without any excuses so that you can move forward. 
Oh, all right. Well, I hope this episode has been helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. This really helps us. If you have never left a review, please leave a review. Please share this with a friend, with a family member, especially through this holiday season where people might just be struggling a little bit more. Uh, this podcast is all built on you guys. We've just reached 250,000 downloads. So exciting. We're about to go into our third year. So thank you so much to everybody who supported the It Takes Grit podcast. Um, and just please leave it a review if it's helped you or done anything for you in the time, of, time period that you've been listening to us. It really does make a difference. So thank you so much for joining me today. I love you so much. Happy holidays. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.